Ladies and gentlemen, as of recent, it feels like I have just been the bearer of bad news for the mobile community. Uploading videos about Apex Mobile getting shut down, Warzone Mobile potentially getting delayed, and well, today it just keeps getting worse as a leaked legal document from Microsoft shows that their plan is to discontinue Call of Duty Mobile once Warzone Mobile launches. All of this may be confusing, and I don't blame you as you're first thinking, Microsoft, what? How, is, how are they going to shut down Call of Duty Mobile? Well, late Late last year, they announced their plans to buy Activision. If you guys don't know, Activision is the publisher of Call of Duty Mobile, but not just Call of Duty Mobile. They are the publisher of all the Call of Duty titles and a lot of other big major games out there. Uh, they're currently worth around $70 billion and Microsoft, as you guys know, also are very into gaming with Xbox and the entire Xbox cloud gaming ecosystem that they offer. And so Microsoft is thinking, hey, we're big, we're into gaming. Let's go ahead and buy Activision so that we can be even bigger and make even more money in gaming. Uh, now, one of the things that happens when a company the size of Microsoft tries to buy a company the size of Activision is it has to go through a lot of oversight, a lot of committees, a lot of legal things to make sure that one, it's not going to end up being like a monopoly in the gaming scene, uh, but it's also legal and ethical and that it passes all of the checks. Uh, so at the moment, they are still like a year into buying Activision. They've been working on this for the last year or so, uh, but it's still not confirmed. Microsoft has not been, they have not signed on the dotted line to finally pay Activision their $70 billion and buy out the company. But it does look like things are going in Microsoft's favor and that this deal might work out. And it's scary because if this deal works out, then the following might come true regarding Call of Duty Mobile. Now, this was a legal document leaked just today regarding uh, all of the proceedings of Microsoft trying to buy Activision. Uh, and in this, there was actually a bullet point regarding Call of Duty Mobile, and it reads as follows. A carve out of these mobile games from the divestment perimeter would not be practicable for the reasons outlined below. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what that means, but it continues on to say COD Mobile was developed and is owned by Timmy Studios, a subsidiary of Tencent. Any spin out of the game would therefore, uh, I think the scissor emoji is them saying something was like removed from the document or like redacted for legal reasons. Uh, but Call of Duty Mobile is expected to be phased out over time outside of China with the launch of Warzone Mobile. And then point B is Warzone Mobile, which is scheduled for release later in 2023. Now that sounds terrible. Your first instinct is probably, oh my gosh, it's getting shut down. When is it getting shut down? How much longer do I have to play it? But guys, pump the brakes, slow your roll, because I have to explain some things about what this means. So once again, this isn't confirmed. This is a Microsoft kind of laying out their plans for if they buy Activision. If they go through with buying Activision, it looks like their plan is to phase out Call of Duty Mobile over time once Warzone Mobile releases. Now, it's also important to mean phase out does not mean shut down. Uh, let's compare the two. Apex Mobile is going to get shut down. The game is no longer going to exist. You can't install it. You can't download it. You can't play it. Your skins are gone. Your account's gone. Poof, it shut down. Phase out uh, is actually what Call of Duty does every single year to their PC and console titles or what they used to do uh, with their PC and console titles. Let's use Black Ops 2 as an example. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, it gets released, I don't know, 2013. And for the next year, that is the only game Call of Duty making, uh, Call of Duty is making content for, uh, or Activision in this case. They are making skins, they're making DLC, they're hosting esports, tournaments, all the creators are playing it and getting sponsored for the game. That is the game uh, in which Activision is putting their time and resources into for that year. But once the next game comes out, I think it was like Call of Duty Ghost, once Call of Duty Ghost comes out, then Black Ops 2 starts getting phased out. Uh, there stops being updates on the game. There's no longer any DLC. There's no longer any content. All the creators go from that game to the other game. And so that is what happens when a game gets phased out. So the Black Ops 2 servers are still online. I think they're even online today. Like you can still play a game that's like 10 year old, 10 years old on your Xbox or six year Xbox One. Uh, and so this just means that Microsoft is planning if they buy Activision, to phase out Call of Duty Mobile over time. Uh, but it also says when Warzone Mobile is released. And that's also a little asterisk because we don't really have any confirmation as to the release of Warzone Mobile. I know uh, that the release date right now is May 15th. 
but I'm going to be honest, it's not looking like a May 15 release date to me. Uh, it's only been regionally launched in one region, that region being Australia. And so for me personally, I don't think Wars of Mobile is actually going to be released on May 15th. I think we're going to see a later release date uh, to make sure the game comes out smooth launch, no bugs, all, 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 uh, all systems running fine. I could be mistaken, uh, but once Wars of Mobile is launched, then that is when they're going to enact their plan to start uh, to phase out Call of Duty Mobile. So this means I'm assuming for the remainder of the next few months, things go as planned. Uh, and then if uh, Activision is bought by Microsoft and Wars of Mobile launches, then you're probably going to see content rollout slower. I mean, uh, less frequent updates. Uh, so maybe instead of once every month, we get updates once every month and a half or two months. Uh, but then once it's been like six to 12 months, I do see Call of Duty Mobile just kind of completely entering a stalemate, kind of like Fortnite on iOS. You can still play Fortnite Mobile on iOS, but the game doesn't receive updates. It doesn't get skins. It doesn't get cosmetics. It gets no esports. It gets nothing. Uh, so I kind of imagine that is Microsoft's plan uh, for buying Activision and how they're going to treat COD Mobile is they're going to keep the game up. They're going to develop it and keep content going for a few months or maybe a year. But after a year or so of Warzone Mobile being out, they're probably no longer going to develop it because they want Warzone Mobile to be their golden child. They want Warzone Mobile to be their golden goose egg raking in all the money because one, it is kind of futuristic te uh, technology with the cross progression system and the shared content between the platforms. So I think in their mind, uh, they're like, all right, we're Activision. We're putting in tens, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars into developing Warzone Mobile to be this amazing game. We don't really want to also have a competing mobile title out there that is owned and operated by a different a games company in a different country we want to create a mobile gaming ecosystem here at activision and with microsoft that is like closed uh, system meaning if you play a call of duty game it is going to be fully developed fully owned and operated by activision and therefore microsoft i don't think microsoft wants to be owning games that are also developed by tencent which tencent is a competing games company however tencent is also one of the best mobile game publishers in the entire world so I think their logic is, all right, we have this franchise. It makes a lot of money. We're just going to slowly phase it out, have to transfer all these players to our game so we can make more money. Everything will be in our control and we don't have to worry about working with a third party. There is one small bullet point, though, that is worth addressing. And that is the fact that Call of Duty Mobile will still be fully developed and functional in uh, the Chinese region. It does say that in, in the Chinese region, it is still just going to be like nothing ever happened. Like Call of Duty Mobile still exists and that you can still play it uh, as if things were back to normal. So if you really love COD Mobile, then I think if this goes through and if this happens, it'll be kind of like Fortnite Mobile where a lot of the player base uh, was, you know, ostracized from the game. They couldn't interact with it. They couldn't experience the updates. And so they went to go either play on a different platform or they played on Android, uh, kind of that being Warzone Mobile. So th if this happens, you are going to probably have some people stick around to play COD Mobile. You're probably going to have some people who get uh, phased out and they don't even play Warzone Mobile at all because they've spent thousands of dollars thousands of hours of time on the game and they don't want to feel like they're being forced or pressured into playing a game that they don't really want to play and then you're going to probably have a majority of the player base uh that they are going to switch over to warzone mobile because there's no other option uh so this is all in the works it's a very early on story once again there's a chance it doesn't happen i kind of put it 50 50 right now uh if this news comes out and they see the the crazy backlash from it they could also not do it it just says they have plans to do so so listen i hate being the bear of bad news and the grim reaper of mobile gaming every game i play it turns into ash and rubble and doesn't exist uh but listen guys i will keep you all updated on this story if you haven't already sub make sure you drop a sub as this is a very impactful story for the mobile community if you enjoy the video drop a like click sub catch you in the next one deuces